Hello there my friends, I am Attila the Great and I will bring you another Total War Rome 2 online battle between me and a guy called E. Kurt Lang and he will be commanding the mighty Cartaginians on the other side of the field you can see I am standing next to my brethren the Macedonians and I shall command them into a great victory we shall hope otherwise we shall lose our homeland forever so what do we have for this fight? it's very odd, very odd unit types I gotta say, uh, Macedonian unit types I don't know if, if any would uh, you know highly suggest to go as this such uh, unit army but I did, I did try out so I'm gonna show you now uh, 3 Thessalian calves on the left flank I got 2 Thessalian calves on the right flank so that's 5 altogether I have 2 two spears, one each side of the field and I got 6 Torax swordsmen and 2 royal pedals, one, one of them is the general my opponent has a mercenary companion cav here and cottage cav and on his left flank he got mercenary scutari calves, two of them he has lately been hoplized two one on each side and he has one general bodyguard he got mercenary scutari and then semnat warriors libyan infantries mercenary noble fighters libyan infantry here again and then semnat warriors and then mercenary scutaries so he got also mercenary Cretan archers in the front line that's three of them so basically uh, I don't have any skirmishers and you know that's what I like of but I do got uh, some pretty cool um, heavy melee infantry units but my Torah swordsmen aren't that best but we shall see if I'll be successful in this anyways but now the uh, thing is main main thing is that of course I gotta use my uh, two spears to the best way because these guys has the ability to draw uh, jabs before they uh, get into the engagement um, so I'm gonna try to protect my rears and flanks in the best way I can so that you know in case in any case that his uh, cab units would slip through and then come in the backs of my um, infantry units and then smash through so I'm gonna try to protect my uh, infantry units with one of my uh, two spears of course and then I'm gonna try to do the same with my cav units uh, you can see that I get one extra well well he do has one general bodyguard he could also always repel with his general bodyguard but still if I manage to slip through I'm gonna get in there back to the backs so I'm gonna see if I can find a gap if I find a gap I'm gonna you know try to smash in but that's just a dream because he still has a late leaving hopeless protecting his rear and flags as well so it's gonna really be really tough so the basic idea is to hit him hard with my uh, melee infantry units which he gonna do the, he's gonna do the same of course and then we're gonna see if I'm successful with my cabinets or we shall see if he's successful with his cabinets in this fight so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit now it is really difficult um, to play as Macedon in this patch 15 I gotta say it is really difficult and I'm more like into aggressive rather than uh, defensive unit types most would uh, go of course with um, pike units which I do not prefer um, I find pike units kinda I don't know it's not my style um, to stand and you know wait for my opponent to come to my I don't like that I'm more into aggressive stands I like to attack so that's what I'm gonna do you can see that I placed one of my Thistle and calves here and then I'm gonna move on with my other tools here so this is just a little bit main distraction now you can you can know uh, you should know that um, as Thistle and calves or rather you know more powerful um, let's say if you had cataphracts but in this case of course I don't have any cataphracts but if I had cataphracts I would easily just get in there smash in because um, Cataphracts could be really devastating against such units as the, such as these. I mean, Scutaries. Um, they don't have the best uh, melee defense against a uh, powerful cav unit. So yeah, I would just get in there, boom, hit him, and then pull through, and then get in here and smash his uh, Cretan archers. But yeah, I don't have the cataphracts, so that, that was just a dream. So you can see that we're almost nearly to engage. I'm gonna do like this. No, 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 no. Wait let's do like this instead yes there we go so i place my royal pelters in a position where they can uh, fire their jabs at uh and then my torah swordsmen are ready to engage as well 
And you can see they're smashing now in the lines. You know what? I'm gonna do a regular. There we go. Sounds much better with this sound in it. Now you can see it's totally one on one in all fronts. Except for here, because I lack that many infantry units, which he had more of me, more than me. And now he's gonna attack my uh, Tudor Spears, which I'm not gonna fall in for that. So I'm gonna pull off, pull back. You can see now. And now I'm gonna make a powerful charge at his rear with my Disneyland Cab. You can see. I knocked down some few of his men. And now he caught, he managed to caught up with my Tesselin Cavs on this flank, so I kind of missed Macro over there. That was my mistake. And now he's uh, holding his position with his Gutari Cavs here. He's gonna find, he's gonna try to find a gap, the best gap, which I'm gonna notice. That's why I'm gonna send in of my Tura Spears after him. But if I shall be successful on catching up with him, we shall see. Now you can see I'm following him, and now I managed to uh, break through here with my one of my. Uh, Tesselin Cavs and I managed to route his uh, Cretan Archers so that's a good sign and I'm coming in with my the second Cav unit which I finally could get off the battle over there but I'm losing the other one of course really fast and now I cut out with his uh, Cav units but now he pulled through again so you can see I won't let his uh, Cretan Archers has, have any high kills on me and now you can see he's making a powerful charge against my man's rears at the backs. So that was a good move from my opponent, a really powerful move. And now I didn't have any other option than standing still with my Turo Spears and facing his uh, Scutaris. Although I managed to take out his uh, Cretan Archer, so that's a good sign though. And I'm pursuing him with my, uh, you can see my, with my Tudor Spears, his cabinets. So I had enough with his harassing against my Toro Swordsman. And you can see how powerful my Royal Pettus is. Well, at least he managed to take out my cabinet, but that doesn't matter though. I managed to take out his uh, cabinets as well. So yeah, plus the late Libyan Hoplites as well, I mean. And now I'm going to make a double sandwich with my Royal Pettus. We're going to get in there and make a double sandwich there. And kill off his men really fast and now you can see my Tesla and Cavs are engaging against his general hopefully I'll manage to take him out easy but now it's not gonna be easy you can see campaign and Cavs are very, really powerful and now he's making another bad charge but I'm ready to repel this time almostly I'm putting on the shield wall as well hoping that I can uh, save some few men of that powerful charge he's making to my back my man's back but now finally I caught up with my Tudor Spears against his cabinets now he's trying to slip through again, which is kind of like, I'm like, oh man, god damn it. Now that I managed to, finally managed to hold his uh, cabinets, he managed to slip through again, out of my grasp. Anyways, you can see that my right flank is totally on my favor. Uh, he doesn't have any uh, men anymore to support because they're all routed and destroyed, of course. Wow. That was a beautiful, powerful charge with his campaign and cast against my Royal Peltast, but not deadly enough, lucky enough for me though. He still has uh, some few cabinets, but my cabinets are almost dead. I believe they're all gone now. So I kind of use them for kind of okay way, I gotta say, but not that perfectly though. So you can see that I'm placing my men here, so hoping that they can fire some more jabs into the battle. Now he's gonna make another powerful mo you know, charge here. But at this point you gotta realize that these guys are kinda fatigued. But still it doesn't matter because you can see that these guys are starting to waver now. He still had one Cretan Archers left. Which was kinda failure on my side because I thought my Cavinus had done, you know, dealt with them entirely. But no, I guess not. But anyways, my right flank has totally, has been totally successful. And now you can see that my jazz or my tourist spears are you know standing there and throwing the jazz and he realizes and then he knows that he's getting really dangerous because his men are starting to waver now one by one and he knows that he needs to destroy my tourist spears in order to win this battle because uh yeah these guys are frankly frankly they're really powerful strong against his cabinets but in the end it was just too much for him and his men started to chain route and i gotta say good game to my opponent that's it
I took a high chance, I took a high risk uh, playing as uh, Macedon against Cartage and I managed it, so I was really proud of it uh, because these uh, unit types, uh, this army is totally new for me uh, I just, you know, made a new uh, kind of trolling I thought to myself I gotta make a new strong Macedon um, unit armies to see how I'll, you know, if I manage to be successful on it and if not I would of course change it but then I realized that it was okay so yeah let's see if I manage to beat another opponent with the same army next time so you can see my uh, Royal Pentast uh, my general did not have so many kills only 66 it's because of they they kind of killed uh, one or two late Libyan hoplites I think one late Libyan hoplites they managed to route them but they were like pursuing uh, his Cretan archers and someone else like that's why they didn't have so many kills and they were like um, kind of distracted by his companion cares and you know all that so but this guy had really high kill 197 and my cabin is well this guy's got crushed uh, this was on my left flank I believe but this guys managed to pull through so they got like 94 here 108 there and 53 so they then they done they done their purpose I guess I mean they did pretty okay in this fight and my Torah Sussman as expected uh, plus 50 kills so you got 7 and 8, 8 and 9, 8 and, 8 and 9 here as well uh, 63, 96 and 63 here and my Tura Spears these guys got crushed on my left flank they didn't do that much because his Scutaris I think this one uh, Mercenary Scutaris um, they totally killed my Tura Spears but these guys however they did okay 88 kills so they were kind of harassing his cabinets so they couldn't do that you know um, perfect uh, job against my men and if you look at this side um, his cabinets weren't that successful either compared to mine though I mean um, it's almost like equal if you notice I mean he got 84 with the Cartesian calves and 104 with the uh, companion cow so if you ask me to play as Cartage I would totally skip these scutari calves because I find them really useless honestly I would rather go with uh, Cartesian calves and two uh, companion calves rather than these two fellas so and I was really you know quite successful uh, with his uh, Cretan archers he didn't have that high kills uh, luckily for me and unfortunate for him of course uh, his Libyan infantry he got 58 highest kills here 162 is because these guys why they had so high kills is because of as I explained earlier they had they were killing my Tudor Spears so that's why they had so high kills but these guys didn't have that high kills well these guys are really weak against any other uh, sword faction unit so I would really skip these guys as well rather bring in a lot of Libyan infantry than these fellas also uh, but this was a good choice um, I don't know why he kind of failed um, so I guess that he didn't uh, protect his rears that perfectly so they didn't have that many high kills uh, I remember when I charged in against his uh, late Libyan hoplites with my cab with one of my cab units that's why probably he didn't have that many high kills plus I sent in my royal peltas also in there so they got destroyed except for these guys though they had 57 kills and only 67 kills with the merchant noble fighters now you would expect a lot more kills with these fellas but uh, no unfortunately they only had the 67 I think I did a double sandwich on this guy <laughs> I don't know but these two tanks though they did their job 76 and 74 kills so that's it folks hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did please don't forget to subscribe for more hit the like button share this favoritize join me up on google plus and facebook and twitter and i shall see you people late next fight Check. take care